Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and we're going to do a flip through of Word Roots Level 1. This is from the Critical Thinking Company. It's recommended for grades 5 and up. Last year in grade 3, we did Word Roots Beginning. So they have beginning, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. Um, we use this as sort of um, spelling-ish. Um, and basically, this is a cool book that will do talk about the etymology of the words. So the roots, the prefixes, the suffixes, and kind of give you um, ways to not only expand the vocabulary, but also to figure out the meaning of longer words by knowing what the roots and the prefixes and the uh, suffixes are. So there's our table of contents um, talking about you, uh, last year was done by roots. So it looks like the same here. And then there's reviews. Um, there is also a page here uh, talking about what is etymology and um, how this book kind of works, what you are <laughs> gaining from it, what you're using. Um, it continues. Um, and talks about the definitions of the root, prefix, and suffix, um, and words and word parts. So I definitely recommend that you read through that before you start. Now we have not started this one. It is grades five and up. Um, we're fourth grade this year. We might start on this uh, later this year. But we'll see. I went ahead and ordered it because we really liked the word roots beginnings and um, felt like we would eventually get to this at some point. So it starts with a pre-test slash you can come back and do it as a post-test. And then it moves on to lesson one. So it has the prefixes, it has the root, and it has the suffixes. And it gives all those meanings then it's going to give you the words that are made from those combinations and it's going to give you definitions so the first activity is figuring out those definitions um, based upon the knowledge of the root the suffix and the prefix part b is going to be completing the sentence so you're going to choose which word from the selection makes the most sense in the sentence. Part C is going to be defining the word parts. So it's gonna give you a section and then um, how to define it. So again, practicing what those different parts mean. And part D will be writing sentences. So using the words, writing your own sentences. Now this is why we haven't started this one yet um, because the uh, writing, uh, the amount of writing is a little bit much. We're building up our ability to write more so we will get there. Um, but there's an A, B, C, D and then it goes on to lesson two where it introduces a new root, prefixes, suffixes, it starts with the spelling and defining the words. Section B, completing the sentences. Section C, defining the word parts. And then section D, writing your own sentences. And then it looks like it has a review from lessons one and two. So it combines those where you are, write each word part next to its definition. For section A, Section B, write the letter of the word next to the definition. Section C, there are jumbled letters and a given a definition and you have to figure out what the correct word is, which is why I said we used this as a, a spelling last year um, because there's, there's a lot of spelling to it. And then D, write the best word that goes in the blank um to fill in that sentence and there's two pages of that so 20 of those sentences and then moves on to lesson three um follows the same framework 
I'm going to skip ahead and see if it looks different. So we have lesson three, we have lesson four, then we have a review of lessons three and four following the same pattern. Then we have lesson five. Um, and it looks like it follows the same pattern all the way through. So if I flip here to lesson 14, we still have the roots at the top with the prefix and the suffix. We have spelling and defining the words. We have completing the sentences, um, defining the word parts, writing sentences, and then a review from those two lessons. So it looks like that follows all the way through. And then when we get to the end here, um, we have, there's a review another lesson there are 30 lessons yep 30 lessons and there's a review after each two lessons so there's not one big review at the end um, when you start talking about like prefixes and suffixes they um, the prefixes and the suffixes generally made the same thing across different roots. So as long as you're learning the roots and how they combine. And then in the back, they have the answer key. So it goes through section A, B, C, and then D. Sentences will vary. E, paragraphs will vary. Who, E, did we miss that? Hold on. Hold on, I've already skipped something. Lesson root one. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. So, D writing sentences and then E optional creative writings. Use some or all of the words from this word choice box to write one or more paragraphs or a short story on a separate piece of paper. So, you can expand upon this. Um, and that'll be really cool. We might try to enter, uh, we might try to add some of those into our writing in other situations. So, your sentences are going to vary. Your um, paragraphs are going to vary when you do those. So D and E, things will vary. But A, B, and C will have those answers there in the back so that you know. And the reviews have the answers. And let's see what else is back here. And at the very, very back, there is a dictionary. So it'll help you on how to pronounce things and what the different abbreviations, the prefixes, I mean, what the prefixes mean. Let's see, there's prefixes. Then there's Latin roots, what the root words mean. And... Then there's suffixes, what the different suffixes mean, which is always good so that you can go back and kind of check or help to have a better understanding. And that's it. It is pretty thick. Um, there were 30 lessons, so and each one was four to five activities, um, A, B, C, D, and then the optional E. When we did um, beginning, we would only do two. We'd do like A and B on one day and C and D on the next. Um, we would probably spread this one out again. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this looks really cool. I think we will get to it eventually. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if anybody else has used word roots, um, especially level one or above since we haven't gotten to those and how it went for you. Thank you so much.